This episode of Other People's Airplanes is supported by Piper. Today, we fly another one of the mainstays of the private pilot training fleet, the four-seat single-engine Piper Warrior. And check it, this one's got a glass cockpit. I'm David Allen, and I'm about to take you into the cockpit of other people's airplanes. at Melbourne International Airport on Florida's Space Coast. Since 1968, FIT Aviation, a wholly owned subsidiary of Flor the Florida Institute of Technology, has called the Melbourne Airport home. With their fleet of over 50 aircraft, including one Citabria, they can train you in just about anything you want. Obviously, most of the students are also enrolled in the college, but they do take walk-ins. Their fleet consists of Piper Warriors, Arrows, and Seminoles, Garmin G1000 equipped Cessna 172s, and the aforementioned Citabria. And the on-site maintenance facility keeps them all running at peak performance. A great many pilots have executed their primary flight training in the Piper Warrior. This particular Warrior features a glass panel with an Avidyne avionics package. It was born, born in the early 2000s and uh, it's got a 160 horsepower engine. Our pilot for today is Donald Judy, a CFI, CFII, and AGI with over 3,500 hours total time and 2,000 hours dual instruction given. Don has flown everything from Cessna 150s to the King Air C90 and the Commander 690, but he's partial to the T-34 Mentor. Now we've consulted for Flight HD with, for our pre-flight weather briefing, and it looks like we've got uh, a few clouds at 4,000 feet and nothing above that. We've got uh, temperature 63 degrees, our, our winds are calm, which you can tell is, is pretty much the case. It's going to be a great day for a flight, a lot better than the first time we tried to make this flight. So today we're going to fly out of Melbourne Airport. We're going to fly out over the beach, take a look at this beautiful weather. We may go fly around Valkyria, that's X-ray 59er. We may land there. We're just not really sure because, you know, we're flying a private airplane and we can do whatever we want. And I think that's just about enough jibber jabber. Let's, uh, let's get this thing airborne. At Melbourne Tower, Fit 42 is holding short runway 9 right at Quebec, uh, ready for departure. Clear to go, runway 9, right with the right turn out, bit 4 2. Hey, you can close that. I was on a drag. Run it up. Airspeed's alive. For 2 as you turn into the downwind, you'll see a military transport aircraft, the C-130, passing over the field at 2,000 feet, headed for Patrick. Right, Looks like a pretty day to be out on the water. I think we get the better view though. <laughs> Can't do that. Hey, you want to cap low? What? Cap low? Thousand feet? Eh, yeah, whatever. Hey, 
altimeter is 3022. Helicopter 557 request uh, 600 uh, for photo work uh, directly over 95. Okay, I can do it at or below 500. I got traffic in the patterns I'm trying to keep away from you. You can go 500 or below, or you can go 15 or above. 500 below, 557. 557, roger, and the altimeter is 3022. That's about carry, yeah, yep. you know. Yeah, I just spent the weekend down there uh, hanging out with airshow pilots. Oh, okay. Had uh, Fred Cabanas and uh, I think Jeff Bourbon and, and Mark Sorensen and Patty Wagstaff. Patty. And just a number of great pilots out there. There's a riot. Yeah, my favorite performer is um, Julie Clark. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder why. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only because she flies a T1, T-34 Mentor. She's cool, though. You know, she's just such a great person. So, uh, you told me last time we talked that you uh, were real partial to the T-34. Why is that? Oh, I like Bonanzas. I've spent a lot of my time in Bonanzas. Um, it is a Bonanza on steroids. I like the uh, tandem seating with the with the canopy. Yeah. I mean, you can sit there and look all over the place. Yeah, you feel like you're in an open cockpit without being in an open cockpit. How does it fly? Oh, great! I mean, I love stick. Yeah, and I'm from a big fan of joysticks. That's why. I mean, I and maybe I feel more comfortable because as an instructor, I've got you know, you know, over a thousand hours of training teaching and I'm always on this side here like this so the stick is just a natural right. transition down here. I, I did some aerobatic training in a Satabria and, and uh, Super D and you know Pitts and they all have that throttle over on that left side so it was a bit of a, it, 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 it was different from what I'm used to because you know you always you know, find the Cessnas and the Pipers and the throttles in the middle but you know it, it just it felt natural to me. It wasn't like a hard transition. I guess because I like the fighter pilot mentality anyway. <laughs> well, most guys do. I don't uh, see any traffic. I'm just going to fly over here and see what's going on. At Valkyrie Unicom, uh, Warrior 42 Foxtrot Tango. They had that air show, as you know, so I don't want to. I hope they weren't closed. I'm not getting ASOS. Yeah, they're not closed. I mean, they open the airspace up right at the air show. Looks like winds favoring runway. Uh, but whatever the opposite of 3 2 is, what is that, 1 4? 1 4. That'd be about right. Yeah, we could do 1 4. And we'll have some airplanes parked on the apron on the right side if you uh, do a touch and go there, but I'm sorry, the left side. Come out here and do a teardrop. Valkyrie traffic, uh, Warrior 42 Foxtrot Tango is going to enter a left downwind for runway 14. Touch and go, Valkyrie traffic. All right, I've forgotten how much fun this airplane is. <laughs> <laughs> and Valkyrie traffic, uh, Warrior 42 Fox Drive Tango is on the left downwind, runway 14. Touch and go, Valkyrie traffic.
Yeah, these things are a hoot. <laughs> they landed a C-130 here over the weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, on runway 14. And they had to disassemble it and take it back? <laughs> it was pretty impressive watching it. Did he have to go around once, or did he do that and you just make it a low pass? Uh, he, no, they don't do low passes. He did two missed approaches, though. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him from the house do one. Yeah. Uh, Y'all don't live right down here, do you? I, I, I live over right over here in the oh, okay. section of Port Melbourne. You know, all these people down here were complaining about us doing our touch and goes, our landings and everything else down here. They called the FAA. The FAA came down and investigated. So the whole thing got shut down because the uh, folks were found to uh, doctor up some photos. Yes. So the FAA said, don't, ever, don't call us anymore. Yeah, I remember that story, and I think it's so awesome that that happened. I didn't know they had done that. I just know that they all kinds of nonsense going on. This airport's been here a lot longer than they have. Yeah, we get it all the time. People can't understand why, uh, you know, they bought the house cheap about five years ago, and now all of a sudden there's these planes flying overhead. It's like, hmm. No pressure, but uh, impress me. <laughs> Try not to flare 100 feet in the air. Yeah, that's... Nice, nice. Beautiful. The nose? Uh, these people always complain too. As a nice neighbor, we tried to take off runway uh, one zero there and, and cut off to the right, come over this area here. Well, they still weren't happy. Yeah. But they don't want you to close the airport because if they do, they lose their golf course. Right. Because it's all on the same federal property. But, uh, is there anything in particular you want? You want to do another one? Uh... Oh, I don't care. I'm easy. Okay. Let's have a good time. I didn't know what kind of video you want. May I try one? Yeah. A landing? Sure, man. Sure, Go ahead and turn it to the last wind. Keep the nose up. Keep the nose up. Okay, so your opposite will be heading at about 3-2. Go ahead and turn downwind. No, we still haven't got really the altitude, but we got a lot of, well, pretty heavy plane today. And I'll carry traffic, uh, Warrior 42 Foxtrot Tango is on a left downwind runway 1-4, touch and go Valkyria traffic. Okay. Might want to keep it a little farther away so you don't have to do steep, steep banks. Okay. There you go. Now uh, we'll get to a thousand by a beam the numbers. Your, have you ever uh, how many hours you got? Uh, 15, 20, something like that. All right. Just want to know how close to keep my hand to the yoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you're not gonna break. You're not gonna offend me by uh, covering everything. All right, now reach up, keep one hand on the throttle. Got a thousand feet, pull it back to about uh, 1700 RPM. Where's my arm here? Yep. And when you get there, just go ahead, keep let the nose go. Keep the let the go, nose go. <coughs> let it go. Yep. Drop it's, it forward. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not holding okay. it up. There we go. And it'll fall, fall forward and give us a notch of flaps. We're in the white arc. There we go. All right. So we're still a little high. Trim, trim this thing down a little bit. There we go. Ah, we're Maintain going that 80 knots. 80, 80 knots. Pitch. Uh -huh. Okay. Goes high, pull back. It goes low. All right, turn left. 
Valkyria traffic, uh, Warrior 42, Fox Drive, Tango, turning left base, runway 14, touch and go, Valkyria traffic. Power's good. Yeah. Power's good. Okay. All right. Now we're going to leave those last of the flaps out there for a while. Go ahead and turn final, nice and easy. You don't have to make a steep bank. It's not a mandatory 30 degrees. Pull back on the nose. You're speeding up. There you go. Now pull it back to about, oh, uh, let's say 13, 14, 13. Hundred All right, RPM. RPM. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll level the wings. Winds are out of your left a little bit. Lined up pretty good. Yes, undercarriage mixture prop. Everything's good. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, we're still at 80 knots. Fine. And we're settling into the approach angle. Now you're gonna, don't try to hold the altitude. If you need altitude, pull power in. Put power in now. Okay. About seven. Got maybe a little more headwind than we anticipated. Don't try to, don't try to pitch up for it. Just, there you go. All right, get it over here to the right here a little bit. Easily slow your rate of descent. No, nope. pull your power back, pull your power back. And just hold us off the runway. Get us down there nice and light. There you go. Flaps up. Flaps out. And here we go. Full power. Quick, 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 quick. Pull back. Nice and easy. Just let the nose come up. And the plane will just lift off on its own. Here we go. Put your nose on the horizon. Got to step on that right pedal too, because the left turn tendency is the torque of the engine. Yep. Very good. And V1 is, uh, VY is about 79, 80 knots? Uh, yeah. I don't really worry about that as long as we've got a good attitude. See, I mean, right now, by pulling the nose up for the VY, you lose the horizon out in front of you. Yeah. Somebody here might be in uncontrol. There may be a plane coming in with no radio. We don't know that. So yeah. we're counting on visuals. Awesome. Let's take it down to Sebastian. Okay. Or at least the Sebastian Inlet. That's kind of... Yeah, I like the Sebastian Inlet. It's pretty down there. And Valkyrie traffic, Warrior 42, Fox Drive, Tango, straight out departure, runway 1, 4, will be departing the area along the river. Valkyrie traffic, last call. Hey, what, this four flight GPS is working pretty well. Wow, where is it? Where? Oh, I see. There we are. Yep. I got a okay. GPS up there on the on the dash. It's a, one of the dual units, and it's feeding this guy wirelessly. It says we're at 1,025 feet. Yeah. There right it on the money. And climb and descending. Yep. I was getting. I had to <laughs> past our altitude, so I figured I'd get us back down to about a thousand here. See so your track. Your uh, your ground speed. You don't. Yep. So we're doing 103 knots over the ground. Now we're tracking 154 degrees. Accuracy within 30 feet. Yep. And there's Sebastian Inlet. Looks like they might have some dredging equipment down there right now. They've been there a while. I uh, think. There's your uh, jump plane over there. Yeah, I saw him. He's gonna... A lot of boats anchored in the uh, channel, in the uh, inlet there. Oh, yeah, tarpon. And oh, is that what they're doing there? Depends on whether the, what they're catching as far as whether the uh, tide's coming in or going out. Oh, here's your dredging.
down here, the um, what they're doing is they're pulling up the sand and putting it back on the beach. Yep. So if you cut sharp, either way. Okay, the piping there. Yep. Oh, people on the pier. Sure are. Wow. Traffic uh, 36 Mike is about uh, three miles to the north from Special. We'll be entering left downwind for runway. We'll fly back around the inlet so again. Are you currently eastbound? Say again, traffic for Special. Are you eastbound right now? No, we are north from the airport. I understand that you're north of the airport. Are you flying? Yes. It's beautiful out here today, man. Smooth, too. In the air. Yeah. Okay, we can see you. Good. So, uh, you've flown a lot of planes. Yeah. W were you going to point something out? No, I was just going to say, there's traffic over the uh, Sebastian Inlet, or the river. I just watch him. He's coming over. I see him, yep. We're going to turn away from him. Um, so you've flown a lot of airplanes, um, and this is a show about other people's airplanes. Is there anything you haven't flown yet that you, you really need to, uh, you know, uh, you got the itch, you just gotta, you know, I gotta oh, fly I, me one of them. I'd love to fly a jet someday. Yeah? I mean, I, you know, I'd love to fly a little Honda or Honda jet or a Phenom or something, single engine, or a single pilot jet. Single pilot IFR or something like that? Yeah. You know? years ago uh, I was at Oshkosh and I got to sit in the back while uh, a fellow podcaster flew the uh, Citation Mustang. Oh, okay. Oh man, what a fun little plane. What was impressive, and it was his first, it was his first time, time ever flying a jet. But what was amazing was that he had just come out of G-1000 school with the Civil Air Patrol. Right. This thing had just G-1000, three G-1000 panels, right? Oh, gee. So he was like, a pro. This was his first time in the airplane, but right. because he had, it was all fresh in his mind, he was ready to just rock it. It was really cool to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've always heard that jets were fairly easy to operate. Yeah, you don't have to worry about overspeeding. Right. The, uh, the only thing you got to worry about is cooling. Yep. Yeah, you got you to be ahead of that. You don't, you don't always necessarily have the power right when you Bring in, bring in the power. <laughs> First, like every every kid, aviator or not, uh, I'd love to fly with the, like the Thunderbirds. Oh yeah. In the slot or something, and just just watch. Yeah. They, yeah, they do fun. give media rides. Same same podcaster got to fly with the uh, Thunderbirds on a you know. Are so you working that out? I'm, I'm, that's my mission. Oh, that's your mission. <laughs> I actually really want to get. Um, one of my one of my hopes is someday to fly a U2. Those things aren't even up anymore, are they? Oh yeah, they fly them all the time. Up. The SR71 would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would that would uh, those I don't think they fly anymore, but that would not be a bad flight either. Like getting up and flying a U2 to 80,000 feet and just seeing the curvature of the Earth, uh, I I can oh, handle yeah. that. Might as well be an astronaut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't break my heart. <laughs> I was surprised with all the aviation you uh, you're familiar with, and you do, you talk about, and everything else that you didn't get, you haven't got your license yet. It's only money. I, you know, having uh, having four kids, and uh, my wife stays at home and, and uh, homeschools the kids, so oh, okay. I, I make I make the only money that bring in, and you know we're really blessed that we're able to do that. I'm pretty excited about that, but it also means that there's not a whole lot of money left over at the end of the month. Right. So. right. We're climbing again. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I, because I couldn't get my pilot's license, I decided to find other ways to stay involved. You know, my dad got me involved in Civil Air Patrol years ago, uh -huh. and so I, I got some amazing experiences through that. I uh, got to, started volunteering at air shows and just attending. You know, I always go to air shows as much as I can, and I volunteer at Sun and Fun at the radio station, and... and 
Oh, okay. Just being around so much aviation, you know, people, pilots hate to fly alone. You know, they don't, if they, and like, you know, most of the time, I, I, I say that as a blanket statement, but for the most part, you know, if pilot can take somebody up, they're right, more than right. happy to do it, you know? So as a result, I have a lot of experience in airplanes, but it, and it's magic every time. I mean, I flew in a KC-135 in the Seabull Air Patrol while we were flying, we were refueling F-15s over the Gulf of Mexico. Who gets oh, to wow. do that? Yeah. You know? But it's all in my memory, and I said, you know what, it's enough. i, I got to start filming this stuff and sharing it with the world, so. Oh, okay. And so I got the cameras, and now I bring the audience along for the ride. Now you got the, uh, yeah, it's like the uh, website or the, the picture I just saw recently about how we're perceived by ourselves and others. And it's got like little six screens and all that kind of stuff, you know, and it shows Tom Cruise and Top Gun. That's what our girlfriend perceives us right. as. <laughs> And the public <laughs> perceives us as nothing but, you know, drug drug users and, uh, you know, potheads and all this kind of stuff. And, our, uh, and then, of course, what we really do, what we really do is, you know, we, we sit up here and it shows a picture of some guys in a plane going, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, having fun. Keep it on this kind of heading, maybe a little bit to the right of uh, north, maybe about 5 to 10 degrees for uh, wind. Okay. And then blow us too far out. Summer Tower, uh, 672, we'd like to start the pattern to the north. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. 72, understand departing to the north? Departing to the north, 672. 672 approved. Approved, 672, departing to the north. Summer Tower, 542, two mile right base on white nine right. Fit 4 2 runway 9 right, clear to land. Clear to land 9 right, uh, fit 4 2. We got a traffic coming on, converging on the opposite Easter. runway, or is he coming the other way? Let's see. I think they had given us a heads up on him, but. Alright, 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet. Now watch that L2 there. Lane lights on. Yeah, I'm not too worried, but he would, they would have given us a heads up and said he's conflicting traffic. Okay. Now let's pull uh, power back nice and easy to about uh, 18, 17. Get it into the white arc by holding your altitude, not to, not 800. There we go. There you are, and now you're in the white arc. One notch of flaps. Okay, power back to about 15. Don't have to worry about your altitude now. 80 knots, 80 knots, 80 knots. Fit tree at Mama Ground, we're winning on a right taxi to Victor. Victor, we're there you Charlie go. Alpha. Uh, they're not to flaps. Fit 4-2, long landing approved. Long landing <laughs> approved, Fit 4-2, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is going to... Fit 2-9-1, we're left, clear to land. We're going to land, 9-1-1, 2-9-1. Did I slip it? No, you're fine. We got a long landing. We got to go all the way down to Charlie. That's the guy I was worried about right there. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take it down a little bit. Okay. Speed it up. Best forward speed. Don't take it out of the white arc. And we'll beat him in. <laughs> <laughs> And that's impressive. Fit 42, turn right at Charlie, hold short of Alpha. Right at Charlie, hold short of Alpha, Fit 42. Fit 29, runway 9 left, taxi via Mike and Kilo. Mike and Kilo back uh, with you, Fit 29.
Always wanted to fly? Well, here's your chance. The idea is simple. Buy a new Piper Archer LX and receive your private pilot's license for free with executive style training. Participants in the program will receive professional, efficient, and safe instruction in a highly condensed and concentrated course, earning their private pilot's license in as little as three weeks. The program is designed to address several current detractors facing new pilots, identified by AOPA in a recent study. The obstacles addressed include lack of convenience, time and scheduling issues, and the quality of instruction in training aircraft. Ready Set Fly utilizes a professional training provider in the southeastern part of the United States, an area known for warm weather and excellent flying conditions year-round. Train in your own aircraft and realize your dreams. For more information, head on over to this link right here. Piper's Ready Set Fly program. Efficient. Effective. Done. We've just returned back to Melbourne International Airport on the FIT ramp here. Uh, we, we took off, we, we flew out over the beach and went down to uh, Valkyrie. We did a couple of touch and goes. Don demonstrated a touch and go for the first one and then I flew the second one. Sure, I'm gonna tell myself that. After that, we went down to Sebastian Inlet and, and got some, uh, just, just watched the beach, got some good video footage of, of the beach and, and the inlet from the air. Uh, came back, flew around my house and flew over some neighborhoods and then, and then came back and landed. So that was a lot of fun, good flight, fun airplane to fly. I've, I've kind of forgotten how much fun the Warrior is. I, you know, I, you, you think, oh, the Warriors are a dime a dozen, but you know what, it's a, it's a great little airplane. It's fun and it's, it's responsive and, and you can fly it. It's, it's just a fun airplane to fly. Huge thanks to Don, Judy, and FIT Aviation. You can find out more about FIT Aviation and the programs they have to offer by going to this link right here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I love bringing you all along for the ride. If you want to follow me on Twitter, then you can go to this link right here. And after you throw down some follow action, bang! Be sure to follow me on Facebook as well. Now, I'm going to go see if I can't weasel my way into that Citabria for a little hang time. Invertor et Bowmans. Smoke on. He laughs. Yeah, he, yeah I saw you whoa, over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, full. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Until that last two seconds. Yeah, right. right. <laughs>